How's it going, YouTube? It is Jake Overgaming here with another how to create video for NBA 2K19. Today, I have Mike Miller of the 2006 Memphis Grizzlies, and this also works for the all time Memphis Grizzlies as well. Um, the player build will also work for the 2013 Heat. You just have to change the hair, which that's not too big of an issue. Oh, and obviously the attributes and adjust the tendencies a little bit. All right, but his name's Mike Miller. He's a shooting guard small forward combo out of Florida. Uh, born February 19th, age of 25. Jersey number 33. He is right-handed, five years pro at the time. Uh, peak star 23, ended around 30. Play for the winner 100, financial security 30, loyalty 60. Uh, play type is mid-range and three-pointer. For his appearance, he is on the bottom row, uh, the second from the left. For his hair, it is parted left, brown, and length of nine. For his skull, it is one with an 11 and a zero. His brow is a three with 18, zero, 19, and seven. His eyebrows are a three and they are brown. His eyes are a four. They're amber with two, nine, four, zero, 14, and seven. His ears are 11 with 13, three, two, and 17. His nose is an 11. With 20, 1, 15, 10, 0, and 8. His cheeks are default with 13 and 20. His mouth is a 4 with 7, 0, 10, 20, 8, and 0. His facial hair is 43 with a stubble of one. Of course, the hair color is brown. His chin is uh, 20. Well, it's chin one. 20, 0, 16, 3, and 0. And his skin is 9. And no blemishes, freckles, or pockmarks. All right, for his body, he was 6'8", 218 pounds with a wingspan of 55, shoulder width 40, body length 45. Uh, I have uh, crew scrunch socks on. Uh, his shoes aren't really available in the game, so I kind of left them off. Uh, he prefers long shorts. I don't have any accessories for him. Now to the bread and butter of Mike Miller. Oh my god, what a night in the NBA last night. So today's date is November 1st, 2018. So I am, of course, referring to the events that transpired in Minnesota last night. Derek Rose scored 50 points with the game win or the game saving block uh, in a game against the Jazz. And oh my God, I was unfortunately I couldn't watch the game, but I was at work and I my phone started blowing up in my pocket. I'm like, what is going on? And I check my phone, and I see Derrick Rose has 35 points. And I'm, like, in disbelief. I'm like, oh, my God, he's he's only seven off his career high. And I'm, like, I'm shaking. I'm like, man, he's having a good game. Now, at the time, I didn't see how much time was left in the game. So I'm thinking, Derrick Rose scoring 35? Like, that's great. And then 20 minutes go by, my phone starts blowing up. I'm getting texts from people and stuff like that. And I'm like, what the hell is going on now? Check my phone. I see Derrick Rose has 50. 
and I start like, like my face, I could feel it like in my nose, like, you know what, like, when you're, you're feeling like, I don't know how to describe it, but like happiness, but at the same time, like you, you want to tear up, like you, you, you get that feeling like around like your nose. I started to get that, like, so I'm sitting in the middle of, like, my work, about to, like, tear up crying, because my favorite player of all time, the guy that's been through so much adversity, and has had his Hall of Fame career completely derailed by injuries, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm so happy, like, I, this is, like, the happiest I've been in a really really long time and I just I didn't know what to do like this is exactly what he needed because obviously his confidence has gone through uh, uh, a lot I mean it's very hard to remain confident after uh, suffering so much adversity in the form of injuries in your basketball career and having people essentially write you off as a player. I mean, he was almost out of the league last year. When the Jazz waved him, I'm like, oh, crap. Derrick Rose might have played his last game. And then the Timberwolves gave him a shot, and then they brought him back this season. He's coming off the bench, which that's also hard to see. But I'd rather see that than him not being in the league at all. And for him to go and drop 50, his career high, that that's almost a storybook ending, I guess, as close to that as you can get for a player in his situation. Now, obviously, a championship would complete the whole transition, uh, I don't think the Timberwolves could do it, especially with the Warriors being in the league. But, man, would that be special. So, I mean, I'm speechless, even though I've been rambling about it. But, like, I just don't know how to put into words, like, just how happy I am. I wish I could have done a Derrick Rose video today, but I mean, I'm not going to create Derrick Rose. He's already in the game. Maybe I could do a how to fix Derrick Rose's rating in 2K19 uh, because 2K uh, didn't do anything to him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this is Mike Miller. Derrick Rose kind of stole his video, but that's okay. I don't think anyone minds. And it's my channel. It's my video. If I want to talk about Derrick Rose in any any other player's video, I'm going to do that because he's my favorite player. And he dropped 50 on the team that cut him last night. So, that's just awesome. So happy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, letting me ramble on. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I would do a sports talk show. So, if you are listening at this point in the video... And you want to hear me talk about my opinions going on in like basketball or other stuff kind of related to the sports world. Let me know in the comments below. Because um, I kind of want to do that. Like almost sort of a podcast. Uh, maybe I'll get some of my roommates in on that. Uh, a few of my roommates are big sports guys. So that, that would be fun. All right. Have a good day, week, month, year, whatever you feel like having. See you guys later.